All right, welcome back. This will be Top 10 Stories of 2008. Without further ado, let's get it started. Number 10, Kaylee Anthony's Murder. It caught America by heart and... Because for the fact that this was a child, a three-year-old child, and she, and the remainings of her were found on December 11th, this month, which is really sad. Man, when I heard about this, I hanged my head in shame and said to myself, "What monster? What evil monster would have done this to a little girl?" You know, I have a niece, a nephew, man. I I love them a lot. I love them both more than life itself. I will hurt that sick punks would do that to my, to to them. I will do it. I will hurt them so bad. I'll make them regret li lifting a finger on them. Yeah, Casey Anthony's being charged with a first-degree murder. Her brother, Lee Anthony's being looked at obstruction, just obstruction of justice charges are pending against him. So it's not looking too good at all for her sister. Maybe not for him, maybe for him as well. Number nine: gas slash oil prices. I mean, a lot of people end up doing a staycation instead of doing a vacation for the fact that gas price was so freaking high. Went from $4.11, probably even higher in certain states, such as Hawaii, Alaska, California, to this month's, I don't know, $1.69. <laughs> wow. From President George W. Bush to President-elect Barack Obama. Democrats know how to spend their money wisely, and Republicans, they know how to waste their money. <laughs> Number eight, China earthquake. 69, 70,000 people were killed. About five million people were homeless. Classrooms were disintegrated from the catastrophe. This happened on May 12, 2008 three months before Beijing Olympics in their home country. Hmm. To the people who perished during an earthquake, rest in peace in my condol deepest condolences. I mean it. Number seven, Beijing Olympics. I mean, it was great, man. I mean, it's just absolutely phenomenal. Michael Phelps winning eight gold medals as a swimmer. Usain Bolt, the Jamaican sprinter who won three gold medals, did it without steroids, HGH, or other performance-enhancing drugs, just to get an edge over their competition. Commend him for that. I mean, people could declare track and field in the United States of America dead for the, for good reason, the drugs and everything. People are just deluding others. Say, oh, I never take drugs, I never did this. And next thing you know, they get caught and they weeping like a little baby. I say, oh, shut up. Liar. I mean, USA men's basketball team, the redeemed team, did their thing, taking the gold medal, telling the rest of the world, you know what? This is our, this is our sport that we invented. You're going to have to take the gold medal from us. And gymnastics controversy because the Chinese uh, girls are how how young they were. Uh, Cuban taekwondo fighter being banned from the sport for life for kicking the referee in the head. Mm, that's nice. And you, United States men's volleyball head coach was murdered, and his wife was seriously hurt, injured from the attack before that. In, that Chinese man ended up committing suicide, and the men's volleyball team rowdy around and won, won the gold medal. Very special moment. Very special moment. So, 
just crazy year in Beijing Olympics, you know. Number six, Nintendo Wii wins the 2008 video game console wars. I already touched that on the top five video game stories of 2008. Number five, the Dark Knight movie. It's being named the best picture in the Oscar awards. I saw the movie, it was fantastic. I wish, you know, Iron Man was up there too. I think it was pretty cool. I mean, Kristen Bale, the best Batman since Michael Keaton, in my personal opinion. Don't take it so seriously. Am I so serious, people? <sighs> so, I mean, this movie was getting tons and tons of hype. The Dark Knight. So, number four. New York football giants. Upset over the New England Patriots in Super Bowl in this past February. I mean, we all know what happened with the New England Patriots. They were undefeated. They were almighty powerful. As for New York Giants, no one expected them to be there in the first place. Because everyone thought it was either Dallas or Green Bay. But there's one problem. New York Giants end up coming into Tampa Bay, Dallas, and Green Bay. Knocking all three of them out of the playoffs to get to the Super Bowl and end up upsetting the Patriots. Big big ups, big props, congratulations to the organization and the fans too. They deserve it. Number three, it's a tie between John McCain picks Sarah Palin as vice presidential nominee and Hillary Clinton. I'm still trying to figure out what was John McCain thinking picking this chick as a vice president material of her off the wall comments uh, giving a little shout out to her hometown whatever during a vice presidential debate against Joe Biden I'm looking at him like what the hell this chick is about as smart as a, as a box of rocks good lord Wow, I respect John McCain for what he did for this country, respect him as a politician, but he was doomed for the minute he picked Sarah Palin. Mm -mm -mm. As for Hillary Clinton, she had a chance to become the first female president of the United States. She had everything going for her until Barack Obama came into the picture and she had a rivalry with him and had a little controversy for the things she said and did. And... She eventually bowed out. She just didn't have any chance against him at all. And uh, Hillary Clinton Kool-Aid drinkers and the supporters completely flipped out in calling the news media biased as all hell. You know what? You can't have it both ways, people. She did her dirt. Alright? Deal with it. Number two, Barack Obama becomes the 44th president of the United States of America. Wow. I didn't know who he was. I'm like, oh boy, who's this unknown politician? Is he gonna be the? Is he gonna be like everybody else, or is he gonna be different? You don't know what you're gonna get. He grabbed America by the by the shirt and made them listen and with his speech. Man, he he's just phenomenal, man. Especially the Democratic National Committee. That was a special moment, very special moment, and him being the first black American president to be elected of this in the history of this country, it's even more special. If, if, he become, if he can become the president of this country, anybody can, any gender. I mean, a woman can do it too. Go look at the um, show called 24. It's a big inspiration too. Last but not least, number one, I know it's a negative story, but you people need to look at this article. It's called A Dying Wish, the story of Brendan Foster. He was 11 years old. He passed away from leukemia cancer. He battled with it for three years. I mean, he wanted to become a, photo a marine photographer 
I pronounce it wrong, that's my own fault. Just nervous. I mean, this boy maturity is so great, it, it's unbelievable, and I'm I'm very I'm still sad for the fact he's gone. But at the end of the day, that's life. God has other plans. So, and he helped out. He wanted to help the homeless, and that's exactly what he did. He had a great time living on this planet, and it was time for him to go, unfortunately. So, anytime a, ch a parent loses a child, it's extremely devastating and painful. Thank you for listening. I'll be back with more. Stay tuned.